My Gavan and Melodine, and well met indeed. I am out of here, Gallagher, and welcome back to Middle Earth as we continue on as Dunland. I realised that I've left the camera on, haven't I? Because I didn't swap in the, between the recordings. Oh well. If you watched episode number one, you will know that this is recorded immediately after that episode ended. And quite literally, I haven't even moved the screen. Uh, so that's why the camera's still on. The camera is not going to be a continuing theme unless opinion has swayed and you would rather the camera be there. Because I don't really care either way if the camera's there. I've used it so much now it doesn't bother me. But if you don't like it, do let me know. And if you do like it, do let me know. And if the consensus is you'd rather have the camera, then I'm happy to keep it there. Um, I really am not bothered. You'll see me in shirts more than anything because I record after work normally. Anywho, last time we did a great many things. And we've managed to hold Rohan at bay by not fighting them through skilled and excellent diplomacy. And by that I mean... I've lined up people along the border with Rohan and told them to scowl at the enemy. And that seems to have worked thus far and the Rohirrim have buggered off. So they've taken Eisenrun and they've taken Fort True and I assume they've taken Adorn Vale. Yes. Can't do anything about them. Scum. We're going to need to hit them. But first we're going to take Hirat and we're going to shore up our Lord defences. But we've just got to scoot through yes. Enidwyth to do that Lord and they're really going to dislike it. Yes. They don't like we people trespassing on yes, their lairs. Your orders, my lord. So I'm going to have to get around that one. But that doesn't seem to have affected tomorrow. us. They haven't said they dislike me. So that's good. We're saving up our money at the moment because we barely make any. And we're just going to try and get... Although, do we want that then, actually? Because if we're going to push out, this isn't going to be defense defended for very long. No, I think I'm going to gamble and keep trying to get economic buildings instead. So we could get some farming in Byrig. Dunnarak, you don't really have anything eco-y. Uh, you could get a port. How much would a port change your... Status. Let's have a look. Trade would go from 131 to 143. But that would be about it. Nothing else really affected. Oh, we've got some devastation, interestingly. But that's not really anything. That's a... <laughs> 10 extra gold coins for 3,400. Obviously, it does give more money than that because trade o the world over is affected. Um, but it's still very, very low, isn't it? Whereas, by example, a grain exchange is a bare minimum. Gives you the same trade boost and an extra 50 gold from just building it. Ports don't have a one-off gold cost, which is quite interesting. Uh, so we'll just go with the grain exchange. Can we build another grain exchange anywhere else? Or farm or anything? You can get a grain exchange. There we go. That'll do. Yes. Right, you two, you four are going to link up. That's why we're losing money, sorry. Because of Taraglan. He costs us 380 gold coins a turn. <laughs> Expensive little bastard. Lord, you have a proposition for us? I'm just going to keep hitting you up till you not accept. Quite able to accept this. The pleasure was all ours. They don't think Fair an alliance well. would be in their best interest at this time. Uh, if you could build a levy grounds, we could get that clan spearman free and they'd be able to be retrained as well. Ah, uh, no, they wouldn't be free, would they? Because we haven't got a meeting hall here. So that's nothing. Ignore that. Ignore me. Yes, my lord. Tremak, get me a yes. tower and then head back, sir, this and you're going to become the governor. Be Tremak does lands. have our standard bodyguard, Brennan's oh. Guard. They are our usual bodyguard. And if we can get them into we Tharbad and build further, a meeting hall, then we will get free upkeep on them. So I'm going to do that first, actually, because that's a lot more money than the grain exchange is going to bring in. So we'll get that up, and then Tremak and Your orders, um, my lord. Tremak will become we free. continue tomorrow. But none of the others will. The bandits might, because you can train bandits yes, here, can't you? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Leave me alone. There's a fort over there we could use. My um, lord. But the spies keeping vigil. They won't attack Isengard. I don't know if they're at war with Isengard, actually. No. Uh, in this iteration, Isengard don't start a war with Rohan. Oh, no, of course. Lord. Isengard aren't at war with Rohan in the normal version. Normal version. In this version, of course, as Dunland, Isengard is now set to passive. Some people... Oh, bugger off, Ennard Wythe. Some people have expressed distaste that Isengard is passive. Uh, I think two or three people commented and said, I'd like to dominate the world with Isengard as my ally. But I just... I'm not on board with that, I'm afraid. I'm fully behind making Isengard yes, passive. Yes, my lord. If you play as Dunland Assembling in the normal mode, host. Isengard attacks Rohan, spends the entire campaign fighting against Rohan, and that's about it. You'll attack Ennard Wythe and you'll defeat Ennard Wythe because that's the only enemy for you to attack at the start of the game. And then naturally you'll go north because Isengard will deal with Rohan. 
You don't then conquer the world together. Isengard just claims Rohan and then sits here and does nothing. And you take Enidwyth, then you take Bree, then you take the Dunedain. And that's how it always plays out. Similarly, if you play as Isengard, you will generally kill Rohan very quickly. And then you'll attack Enidwyth or Gondor thereafter. And Dunland usually gets killed off because they don't have the strength of claiming Enidwyth's lands because you've taken them. So it, I just don't... I'm not behind that way of thinking. I'm, I'm fully not on board, I'm afraid. I apologise. Right, Moot Speaker Tremac is going to try and take Kierat, an and I'm really though. hoping he's going to fail. And if he, when he does, when he does, we stand ready. Yes, my lord. What has Yakthat got? King of Dunland. This crown marks its holder as the King of Dunland, forged by Aeol. It was the crown of the first line of Rohan before being claimed by Wolf after Helm Hammerhand's death. It was taken by his wife, Duralfian. Well, that should say it was taken by Wolf's wife, because it sounds like it was taken by Helm Hammerhand's wife. And it's now a symbol of them. The circlet of the Tyr Crocoil. The legends of Dunland claim that this circlet was carved from branches of the Tyr Crocoil, the heart of the forest in Lost Athamore, long before the Numenorians came out of the west. The only other Dunland were united in peace reigned with an elected council ruling over all. That's interesting. That's uh, very much part of Ennard Wyth's lore, really. Grudge against Rohan. Oh, that's cool. We have been driven away from our lands by the horse lords, forced to live in the hills and forests. We will conquer Edoras again, just as we did in the past, and drive the horse lords from our lands for good. So he gives plus one unrest for some reason, because he doesn't like Rohan. That's interesting. Oh, he's captured enemy armaments. Minus 5% unit training costs. Oh, cool. Anyway, for now, stay where you are and hope Ennard White doesn't succeed, because that's what we're going for. Uh, Danyard, I would very much like a great haul from you then, because getting a couple of these free is more important to me uh, monetarily. So you are going to be my next building. Although you can build at the moment. So we'll get you up and then we'll get the clan levy grounds and get a free unit up there as well. Enidwife, do not be getting up and gearing for war with me. It's not in your interests. Stop it. Uh, how about 100 turns of 169? I don't know what that is. but I do not know. Believe... Well, that seemed fruitful. Farewell. <laughs> oh, dear. Trebak's gone back to the Harbad. We've got our own Trebak, and he's much better than yours. Our one has Brennan's Guard, their armor piercing. Your one just throws javelins, and no one really likes javelins, do they? Javelins suck. Come at me. Come at me. No, Ennard Wyth, you dirty, dirty fishing bastards. Why? I hate you. I hate you. Uh, we could take Kaladir. What are we on? Turn 16. We could also take Ferdor, but then we're really putting ourselves against the Dunedain, and we do not want to fight the Dunedain. They are better than us. But are we ready for a war with Ennard Wyth this early on? We have no more free regions to take, save for the ones north of the river. I can't risk that. My lord, approaching quietly. Let's just turn that so that the map updates to show that it's Rohirrim. I'm really annoyed at that. Out. That's really, really annoyed me. <laughs> oh, I don't want to fight Edward Wife. Rohan could come through at any minute. We don't have any money. I don't. I can't afford to fight anyone. I really need more I free rebel tomorrow. provinces. Your orders, my lord. Ah, oh dear. Right, we'll get rid of the bandits. Yes, my lord. I don't want any of them to be generals either, because none of them are free. So they just cost an arm and a leg. Your orders. I think our lord. only hope then is to try and take Caladir. Yes, my lord. So head north, yes. get across the river. We, we should try and kill them as well because they're causing devastation. What's the loss? 148. God's above, yeah. Your orders, my lord. Let's kill some of these off first and then engage. get be about our business. Right, once you've built that, build the levee grounds. I'm happy for that to go before Dunyard's building. That's fine. Um, you're now not a problem. The so lending long spears, you're not going to be useful until we upgrade the levy grounds. How much do you cost me? 22 upkeep, that's not really worth your expense. Yes, yeah, that's not worth disbanding you for, is it? Right, we're going to try and ride north then. We'll kill these bandits on the way, then we'll try and hit Caladir. We're not at war with anyone north of the Guathlo, so Bree, Dunedain, they're not at war with us at the beginning. We're free to roam the world and spread the love of the raven everywhere we go. The crow, raven, whatever you want. I think 
worshipping a raven's better than worshipping a crow, personally. Approaching ravens are the smartest of all birds. Approaching quietly. Oh, look how unprotected Rohan is. Dole Amroth expands, blimey. Oh, we had a mission to talk to them, sorry. Your orders, my lord. With and honor, why, now have more than ever, proposition for us? just ally me, <laughs> please. <laughs> they dislike me even more now. They dislike me even more. I just can't. Uh, the only I bet the only thing they would take is if I gave them the village of, of Vail. Vail. But I really don't want to give up anything at this stage. It, that's only generous. That's forty-eight thousand coins. I mean, I'm going to cancel no, it as soon as I do. No, cannot it. agree to this. The pleasure was all. Up. Yes, my lord. As you command. Oh, we are building our building down there. Money is starting to come through. I was going to get its clan levy grounds. Do we just give that up to Enidwyth in order for peace? We do still connect to Tharbad, even if we don't have it. I really need Enidwyth and Rohan to go to war. Rohan, have you not got any enemies? Me. I'm their only enemy. Why aren't you attacking me? <laughs> oh, I'm the turn. Please go to war with each other. Third partying is so much better than <laughs> facing an enemy on your own. They really, they're gearing up to attack me, aren't they? They are just gearing up to attack me. And we've seen what happens to Enid Wyth when they grow strong. I, I mean, if we were going to attack them, we already would have done. Uh, because we could have killed yes, their leader in Hjerat. So he's buggered off now. Do we just attack Enid Wyth? Your orders, my lord. Is that the play? To battle. Oh, let's deal with these rebels first. We attack. Their villages are there, or their cities rather, are really undefended. And the AI doesn't doesn't respond well to threats. So if we quickly took Kerat and Barad Vin and burnt them to the ground and then traded them back for a peace, they'd just attack us straight away afterwards. They wouldn't they wouldn't respect that. All right, here's our wolf guard. With their heavy Isengard-themed armor, looking very nice again indeed. That's the upgraded version. They do have a downgraded version, which doesn't have the Isengard armor. It doesn't have it. Uh, right, well, I didn't even check. What are we actually up against? Well, whatever we're up against, we want to attack them from the high ground. Oh, Freka, you're cavalry, aren't you? Yeah, of course. This is going to be an easy win. Are you moving in to attack me? Frekalinga Hill Riders. Those are some of our own men. In fact, they're all our own men, aren't they? They're all Danish rebels. Our enemy shall fall. They certainly will. Right, cavalry in position. Archers in position. Freka, what have you got? You come with Frekalinga Harriers, the upgraded version of the ones that we're looking at over there, the Hill Riders. Harriers are better. Are you in range? Yes, you are. Fire at will. Not as in range as you could be, though. Not wildly um, accurate that from that distance. <laughs> Up we go. Now the crossbows can reach. 7%. That's not bad. Interesting that they're not attacking us. They are going to force... Normally, when you have ranged superiority, the AI realizes that and it abandons its sort of defensive tactics and it comes for you. It realizes that if it sits back and waits, you will just kill all of its units. So it doesn't sit back and wait. But this AI isn't having any of it. They're just going to sit there and tank it. Well, let's kill some of their cavalry if we can. We're not up against Rohan yet, we like that. Hold off for a second. I can't believe how close they're letting us get. How many have we killed now? 29%! Jesus. Oh, well, I mean, I'll take it. 
Yagthak doesn't really want to take losses, though, because remember that generals, as Menthar is happily showing, only ever replenish to 77 units, unless they've got some security traits and they'll have a bit more. So Yagthak would be more than 77, but he won't go back to 127. So every one of these that dies, down to probably around about 80, 85, I would have thought, um, won't replenish. I appreciate all you're doing for me, Yagthak, but uh, let's change it up a bit. See if we can't get some kills on some of the other units. How many cavalry do we kill in the end? Down to 23. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, look, they're killing them just by virtue of them being in the way. I like that. What are we on now? Nearly 50% of the enemy is killed because you're just letting us shoot you. Only half the enemy force remains. You really don't want to do that because all of our units are anti-cavalry. Right, that is a really bad matchup for you. I'm sorry. Let's get our Frekalingas in. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Daragline smashing those Frekalinga hill riders. They're dying off. Oh, more coming though. Ah, they're going to charge you, Mentha. You might die. Right, Clan Spearman. Let's give them a go. Let's test our hill riders out then, or our harriers. Sorry. There are 132 clan spearmen standing stalwart on the field as Dunland's true heirs thunder down upon them in a slow, moving, and imposing method. Forward charge into some spearmen. 132 becomes about 65. Well, 60, there you go. It's settled at 60. So you get about half in the initial charge. Kill them. Dunland's finest. Is there anyone that you could help with? Oh, this is over. I'm surprised they're not actually running yet. Uh, they're routing. They're going to go in and deal with them. Those spearmen will deal with the hill riders over there. Now we get to see them actually charge. Axes up, boys. In we go. Oh, lovely. Caught him on the running away. Every swing is a kill, pretty much. Oh, look, that guy just looked like he took out two. Fantastic work all around, boys. Another one routing. Why are the rest of them not routing? This is completely over. Come on, guys. You know you've lost. Just bugger off. Good to hold how our cowardly foe go. runs. This is a clear We lost victory. 38 soldiers. We could 800 and 500 were killed by Yagdak alone. <laughs> Yagdak is such a boss. Swiftly becoming the champion of the campaign. Oh, I should state this week there won't be a written intro because I'm going to record episode number three tomorrow on Sunday because this week, as I've banged on about in live streams before I took a break, is the week of Eurovision. So I don't want to record any videos in the evenings this week because I'll be watching Eurovision on Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday. And uh, so I'm trying to do all the recordings this weekend. Also, because I've had two weeks Honorable, off, I'm feeling very refreshed. Victory. So I'm happy to just yes, record like a big batch of them at the weekend and get it done. But normally I would never feel the energy to do this. The energy it takes to be um, engaging and enjoyable for one episode is enough to drain me for the rest of that day. And I don't like to um, then push upon myself to be super entertaining and engaging all the time. Your so, orders, uh, my lord. Ah, now, what I'm thinking is, do we gamble that Ennard Wythe won't attack us? Yes, my lord. And then we could just go yes. up north and take Caldea. If we could get we Argon, no further, my lord. how many we regions would that no be? How many have we got at the minute? Lord. We've got our five, haven't we? So that'd be our sixth. I really don't want Ferdor, but then we are bordering the Dunedain already. So we, they might just attack us anyway. I don't really want to cross the river, but I just don't want to fight Ennard Wythe. We don't have the money or the troops to fight Ennard Wythe and Rohan, and Rohan could attack us at any moment. But the problem is, is that if we attack Rohan without dealing with Ennard Wythe first, Ennard Wythe could attack us at any moment. So we are really between a rock and a hard place. Your orders, my lord. Which is why I am desperate for an alliance with these bastards. Because then I could just go and hit Rohan. Our oh, Rohan are coming. I think we're just going to have to, aren't we? We are just going to have to. Yes, my lord. Huntmaster Frecker, orders, my lord. you go off on your own and With see if you honor, can get Argon. Making camp here. Clan Spearman, go and... Well, don't do anything. Um, Don't build that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. 
We're going to do it, I'm yes, afraid. Sir. I just can't risk Enidwise yes. attacking us. Your what is it you wish to discuss? I think the only way they're going to accept this alliance is with that. If you take out the military access, we might even be able to get some money for it. There we How go. could we refuse? Well, that seemed fruitful. Your will. Right. That secures our Your borders, at least. Lord. And hopefully means Enid White will attack Rohan. Because Rohan are coming. They can't hide anymore. Might train those, get them ready. Come and get we are their only enemy. Down. Like it's, It was only a matter of time. We need to think with yes, our brains here. So, Freka, go and see if Your you can Lord. get Argond, just because you're the fastest moving general. Oh, no, you can take some long spears Lord. with you to be the yes. garrison yes, force when Lord. you get there. We can go no further, my lord. Your I got 4,000 gold coins, but I just... What? Oh, because we destroyed the buildings. Yes, of course. Right, Tharbad. Um, how do we use this money the best? We could get a Mason's Guildhouse, and then everything in Byrig would be considerably cheaper. And the reduced time of... Fit. I'm really tempted with that. But I think it might be better to build a building in every place. Although I don't know, you don't have any economy. Economy? Oh no! Look, the tannery. The tannery. Tannery's got to win out, hasn't it? Can you build a tannery? Yes, you can. Tannery there. Tannery there. Much better use of the money. And oh, that's our cultural building. What culture are we? Middlemen. Oh, you're more than enough. That's all right. Um, right. Go for a grain exchange for now, then. Those two tanneries should make us a great deal of money. Yes, right, Yagthak. Kill... As oh, go for Angaith first. Battle. Let's get these bloody rebels out of the province. I'm gonna stick you. Dunyard will be alright on its own. You Your three should be able to clear Lord. up those rebels. Enidwyth won't attack me now because they physically can't attack me. Alright, let's see how we do Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I know we've made it a little easier on ourselves, but remember that the Dunedain could come and give us grief. Bree could come and give us brief. Ge uh, grief. Moria was happy with an alliance, though, and the reason Moria was happy with an alliance is because they have about 9 million enemies. So anyone that's on their side, they will jump at that. Also, we border them, so the trade we get from that's pretty good, so I'm not against that one. Yes, my lord. I'm going to fight engage. these little buggers, or I don't think we really need to. We're probably at the point where we can clear victory 14 ah. losses. No one died? No. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll auto us off those. We We're not going to... We don't need to fight that. Lord, so. my lord. And the money that will free up here... On. The devastation at the moment is 138. That's outrageous. Yes, my lord. We're combining forces. Welcome to the we town of Argon. Can we do everything we, we need with Frekalinga Raiders? Yes. What are your actual stats? 8 attack, 11 defense. That's not very good. Charge of 8. It's not the end of the world. Take them, though. Oh, and we can... What? What? We just got that unit Lord, for free. My Lord. Watch that back. I'm going to watch it back as well. What? Watch that back. We just got that mercenary unit for free. Yes, my lord. Why did we get that mercenary unit for free? To battle. Well, we'll definitely get Argon yes. now because we've got two mercenary units. Ooh, brilliant. That's our fifth region. What did Rohan do? Oh, they buggered off again. Uh, right, we're going to have to go on the offensive with Rohan, aren't we? So lord, Yagthak, Taraglain and Mentar... Once you've killed you Kaelach, then you're going to go south and you're going to shred them. I think Frecker can kill those on his own so we can come back and deal with them. And then Frecker, if you could build some towers, please, that would be great. That northern region definitely needs some towers. Tanneries are almost built. Dunyard's going to get one free upkeep in a second. It's looking good. 60 turns to get three regions. We should be able to do it. And then we need the... Hornberg. So we naturally need to attack Ed, uh, Rohan as quickly as we can because we're going to have to attack them as part of the script anyway. So the sooner we do it, the better. Oh, Edward White are going to help us claim the fort. That's fantastic. Yes, I will take your assistance. Thank you very much. I can command the army. Is that because it doesn't have a general? I've never, ever seen that. Muster your courage, we can command men. the army. We march into battle. It must be because it doesn't have a general. But I'm, does it mean properly command the army? Does it... No, I thought as much. 
Right, they attacked us. Um, our reinforcements are coming in from that corner over there. So we're going to run away. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Might leave 18 of you behind as sort of fodder. We don't really want to lose any of our troops. That's the hope. I thought that was going to let me actually command the, the army, but all it does is give me these commands. From such tidings does victory I thought that might be what it was. Remember, the AI attacked us, so they have to come towards us. So if we can get as far away from them as possible and let Enidwyth do all the dying for us. But this is the castle of Argond. Very, very built-up defensive fortification built by the Numenorians. Argond is again a made-up place name. There are no attested names. There are hardly any attested names in the world in Middle-earth, to be honest. Uh, only big places get names, and even then they have very minor backstories. Like Tharbad, what you would think, is a big, important place. Tharbad is mentioned about two or three times, uh, and nothing massive ever happens there. Like, many people don't even know that, that Tharbad is the site of Sauron's ultimate defeat in the War of the Elves and Sauron. But how many people actually know that? They just know that he attacked Eriador, the Numenorians came, and he lost. But he actually lost at Tharbad. The Numenorians trapped him coming up both sides of the Gwathlo River and killing him off. But people just don't know that. So this it's just this insignificant little city. But it's not. It's quite important to the histories. But it just appears every now and then. It's barely touched upon. All right. We've retreated far enough away now that our reinforcements will do all the victory for us. Do all the winning for us. <laughs> Bandits coming. It is just an army of crap. They'll probably be led by some cell swords, but otherwise it's just bandits. Oh, there's some privateer axemen. Yeah, and that's your lot. That's your lot. It's bandits and privateer axemen, everyone, versus Enidwyth's finest. Let's see who is going to win. Uh, guys. Attack them. They're right there. They're right bloody there. Stop chasing me. I definitely don't want the mercs to get involved. The mercs are going to become the governors, the garrison. Some bandits have curled right around and they're coming just for us. All right, Freka, you've got replenishing troops. Stop whatever they are trying to do. 133 bandits. Freka charges into them out on the field where they're caught out alone, sideswipes them and absolutely massacres them. I love cavalry in this game. Warhammer 3, this is what cavalry should be. Oh, favor. look, there's the standards. Will be ours. One of the standards. Anyway, they've got loads of different standards now. It's very cool. Good tidings. The enemy general Don't let down. anyone get away. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Be awed by None. the victory. didn't even lose a single today. man. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. Dunland. And Argond is ours, and we just beat Ennard White to it. Absolutely fantastic. Nice, safe, secure holding on the northern side of the river. Until the Dunedain take umbrage with our existence and come down upon us with their full might and fury. But of course, they've got Angmar to worry about, so hopefully they'll bugger off and worry about the risen dead of Angmar before they come back for us. Ah, glory! Honour! Victory! Glory! A honor, most noble victory. conquest! Rohan don't seem to really want it. They're not really down for it, are they? They just don't think they can do it. Right, let's get a leather tanner there. That's more money again. Dunyard got its great haul. Third unit of free upkeep. Fantastic. Leather tanner for yourselves as well. Always welcome. Leather tanners do give a tiny amount of money. It's yes, not very much, but it is something. Your orders, my lord. Right, for the time being, will keep vigil over the lands. just build me some towers up this in this tower region. Will keep vigil over the lands. Uh, Dunlending Long Spears, yes. you can just go. Repair the walls, and why don't you like me very much? Cultural unrest. Alright, try and get a drinking hall here then. I don't think you're going... Well, you maybe you make a little bit of money. Yes. Who I else know. can we get trade rights with? Oh, the Dun the Dunedain, of course. Wish. I shall continue tomorrow. Yes, We don't Lord. actually have beef with we the Dunedain, no to be honest. Your orders, they don't Lord. really have any reason to hate me. To battle. 
An honorable, glorious victory. We'll see, we'll see. We well, Tannery's looking engage. good though, isn't it? Culture increase, population growth, building income, and increase in tradable goods. That is the building to build. Does it have an upgrade? Tanner's Guild. Yes, it does. That's a lot of money. That's good. And you can get mines here. Oh, not very good mines, though. Take a long time to pay themselves off. All right. We need a general in Dunyard, but they're on their way. Yes, my lord. Our commanders. And then we will hold Rohan on the river. Oh, we just need the money. We need two more regions. Eisenrun and whatever that one's called. Bregnas. Is it Bregnas? That's hopefully going to be the two that we claim. And then we're going to defend on the bridge, as I say. Ideally, though, actually, we'd take Eisenrun and Foldberg, and then we'd hold Foldberg. Don't let nothing canned. I'm not bothered about that. Oh, I thought I'd go to Green Exchange. Money, money, money. Yes, my lord. Without question. What region is this? Wish. Oh, Matrith. Yes, my yeah, lord. Yeah, go and talk to them. Your orders, my lord. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. All right, Freka, you're going to come and kill Captain Gorlun. I have a full we faith in you, sir. Oh, and that did build. Oh, well done. Yes, my kill lord. them off. As you come up. And he's gone. We have triumphed. Your orders, my lord. Excellent. Yes, my lord. Your orders. Yes, orders. your orders, my you lord. You move the furthest. So you yes. do a little loop round just to build this, me a tower. Yes, my lord. And you guys get down to Dunyard. Yes. How much money do we make? About a thousand. So let's build an army then. Let's take the bastards. Dunlending raiders. Six attack, nine defense. That's not too bad. I want long spears, definitely. Not to bother about berserkers. Um, Mordag fishermen and clan hunters. Clan hunters, what is your missile? Three. It's not very good. 110 speed boost, though, so they run quickly. Range is only 130. I would have thought the range would be a little lower than that. They're only throwing a stone. Some archers have a range of around that. Don't they? Seems a bit sus. It's an army of Thors. Superhuman strength. Right, well, we'll take most of you away. You've got a unit that's... You could also throw something into the mix, can't you? Two Dunlending Longspears. Yes, please. And I will take your two Hunters as well, and that should probably be enough. Um, well, we'll take one then, and build yourself a Clan Spearman, and I'll take that Spearman with me as well. We don't want to leave experienced troops, even if it's only one experience, is more than nothing. Don't want to leave them behind. I'll take those Hunters as well then. That should form our army. More orders, my lord. Um, Argon, if I were to remove one of them, yeah, wish. good, 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 good. Freeze up 200 gold, moves them to the front line, all very nicely done. Yes, my lord. Can Freka kill Gorlan on his own? That's Your everyone's orders. question now. Your I'm feeling orders, no, probably, but we'll give it a go. You can't do anything until you try. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step is one of my favourite um, phrases. I say that to myself a great many times. When you've got about 19 tasks to do in a day, you ha it helps you rem helps to remind yourself that the best way to do them is just to find one and just do it. And then normally you then get yourselves into yes. a little roll yes, my and Lord. it picks up from there. With honor, you get yourself into a little Lord. roll, I should say. Your will, my Lord. My Lord. Yes. Joining forces, my Lord. Are you training? Yes, you are. We're going to have two more pikes coming through. So Your stand on that bridge and give Lord. them a... Give them a damn yes, good Lord. scare. We Give them a scowl. Further, Throw some things at them if you can. Got a leather tanner in Byrig. How much money do we make? We're not going to make much money for a long time, are we? So no point queuing things up. We'll do it as and when it comes. Prepared the walls in Argon. Everyone likes orders, that. My Lord. Yes, my Lord. You have a proposition for us? This seems yes. quite easy. And then you must want map it. Go on. Then. This proposal is an honor and a pleasure. Right, let's go and talk to the Brelanders. Stopping here. All right, Frecker, yes, now's your Lord. time to shine. Yes, Captain Gorlan. Do we take Tremac with him just for this your brief orders, my Lord. moment? Yes, my lord. Probably. Your orders, my lord. Oh, come on, what? We are disgraced. Oh, you moron. Yes, my lord. All right, we're going to have to wait a turn. You knew Lord, that they were there. I'm How? Stick you. How is that possible? How is that possible? How can you be ambushed by a force you know exists? Your orders. Oh, my goodness. Is this man the most stupid general in existence? Yes. I think he might be. Someone award him. Yes, my lord. 
Oh, all our um, leather tanner means we can get some upgrades. <laughs> Won't have the money for that either. Done. The enemy lays siege oh, jock on. People. Why are there two crossings right next to the damned city? <laughs> Ray <laughs> purchase. <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? Why are there two river crossings? So we're not going to hold them on that river anytime soon. Your orders. D yes, bloody Lord. lightful. Yes. Your orders. No, we're going to kill them anyway. Assembling a so mighty No host. trouble there. Argon built its drinking hall. Our queues are stalled. Does that mean Byrig's queue is stalled? No, Byrig is good. Your will, my lord. As you wish. Let's move down. Don't bother with that one then, and let's just take them. My lord. Yes. Uh, right, here we are. Here we go. Let's hit the. Oh, can you not not yes, get out because of Ended Wife? Oh no, you can. Good, good. Your orders, my And you can get in. Right, let's yes, just kill these gobos first. We're combining forces to battle. And then we we'll fight Rohan, and then that will be episode number two. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Nah, mate, we're going to win. Right, so this is our bodyguard unit, Brennan's Guard. Looking very heavily armoured, if I do say so. Cool shields, though. Very high quality shields. Liking that a lot. Attack of 11. 23 total defence. Oh, look, they were made by Bill Baraka. Super useful to know. If I ever start a company, I'll be sure to get in contact with you. Ridiculous. Terrain bonuses in Baron, same with everything. The terrain bonuses and malices are so inconsequential that they probably shouldn't even be listed, to be honest. If I was in the mod team now, I would remove all of those. The difference that it actually makes is nothing. The game had a cool idea and then never really made it into a proper idea. So it remains as a leg It, it remains as a legacy of nothing. Uh, of a, 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 rem a reminder of something that could have been. You could have had units actively perform better or worse in certain situations as we see with mordor units get tired in mordor really easily uh, that is a feature not a bug uh, despite it feeling like a bug uh, but the terrain bonuses and malices is so inconsequential it really is the only one that really applies is heat units don't fight very well in the heat but the only place in the whole of middle earth that's hot is harad so no one ever gets to actually test if their units are good in heat or not 50 of them gone down the swanee. Now get out of there before you're javelin to death. Oh, they really did hit you hard, didn't they? Brennan's guard. Just get in, just get in, just get in. They'll stop throwing javelins once you're in. Pray something changes in the course of battle, but defeat seems almost certain. Oh, they're routing. Right, hit those ones. Let's go, let's go. Oh, that's made them think twice. That's made them think twice. Oh, yes, they've lined up in a straight line. Yes, hit them. Only half the enemy oh, force yes. remains. Yes. Stay alive, Brennan's guard. Stay alive. No, Dramac, you're the governor. No. Did that other one come back? No, they did run. Why aren't you running properly? Is it all because of this bastard at the back? It is, isn't it? Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. I don't think we are going to win, though. Depends if the Brennan's guard can... Uh... So Tremac has died and Tharbad has just lost its governor. But because we've got so many towns and not enough governors, the game will offer us an adoption and we'll send whoever gets adopted up Pray to Tharbad. something changes in the course of battle, but defeat seems almost certain. It's killed about 30 odd in that charge. That's not bad. Ah, oh, but all the guard are dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They're really not interested in the fight. They don't want it. They don't want it. Oh, that was lovely. That was lovely. Come on, Frecker. Keep it going, son. How are you still fighting on? You have been shattered. Seventeen of them versus seven horses. Oh, yes. Yes. This is a clear victory. It cost us everything. 
Well, it costs Tremac everything. It didn't cost me everything. Tremac, you're not even a family member. Ask me if I am bothered by your death. Silence. Silence meets that request. I am not bothered by your death. Be gone. Your family is no longer one of the royals, I'm afraid to say. If you have had children or you have married, we will give them a nice little bit of farmland outside of Byrig where they will have some farming to do, maybe. Uh, they'll possibly be living in shared quarters, possibly. I can't confirm. They might have to actually go out into the field and till it. I mean, it may sound a little bit like I'm giving you farm to own, when actually what I mean is you're going to be farmers. An honorable, now. glorious victory. Uh, but we do need a governor in Tharbad. Yes, but I wasn't going to get Frecker involved anyway, so... Yes. Sit in Tharbad till we get an adoption. But a good little win. Well done. Well done indeed. A fantastic little win. All right, let us take that momentum and run with it and hit Rohan in Dunyard. Tharbad, can you train anything, actually? No. Shame. Uh... Get a clan levy grounds and let's get you a garrison unit up so that the mistakes or issues like this don't arise again. Similarly, if you can get me a meeting hall. No, you don't need a meeting hall because you've got a castle. Yes. Well, a meeting hall can't hurt, can it? Uh, no, go for them. So we're going to mason tool or, or that one. Whichever one builds first. Whichever's a boy. Right, let's hit them. We shall engage. Come on then, Rohan. Captain Bema. Peasants. Rohirrim, Arid Swordsman, Yorling Spearman, Arid Skirmishers, Peasant Scouts, Riddermark Axemen, they're not too bad, Yorling Axemen. It's actually not a very cavalry heavy army, and this is something that you do see. Because the AI thinks that cavalry suck, it doesn't Master train them very courage, often. Men. Even though we Rohan gets so many cavalry focused training boosts. Uh, they get so much more cavalry than anyone else, so many more cavalry options. Their cavalry trains very quickly, it's not too expensive. Uh, but the AI doesn't think cavalry is all that, so it doesn't really use it very often. Pikes. What we are blessed with here, of course, is our faction leader and Menthar. Take back our land! We will be taking back our lands. From this hilltop, we will defend everything. <laughs> we'll defend everything. What on earth does that even mean? All right, and coming in from the sides, we've got the hunters and we've got three clan spearmen. So not a great army. It has to be said. But troops, nevertheless... Our archers are firing. No, oh, you're not though. You decided moving not your in your best interests. Let's put the javelin troops along that back line like that. Yeah, get as many arrows off as you can. Well, they've charged the cavalry in to die. We welcome that. And then what's that unit over there? Helmingus. Oh. All right, well, we can't stand here and just get shot at, so march the line forward. Keep the hill, but march the line forward. They are manoeuvring to prepare for us on that side. It looks like they're getting ready to charge us, actually. Are they cavalry archers? Oh no, they're peasant scouts. Let's get in there. Let's get involved. Go for those Riddermark Axemen. Mordag, keep throwing. Lovely to see. You surround those peasant militia. You got those peasant militia. You're going to hit the Riddermark Axemen. The You're going to hit that peasant militia. Our favor. Victory will be ours. Yeah, I should bloody well think it's going to be very much in our favour. You're fighting downhill. That's not great, but... Needs must. Did you run out of a... Yeah, you did. Right, let's get you to flank. 
Um, oh, come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way. How are you guys doing? Poorly. Get round behind them, get round behind them. Well, peasant scouts thought better of it. It's interesting. I hit those A-Red Swordmen. I hit those Yearling Spearmen. Oh, yeah, no, we are... We are handily beating them at the moment. By the looks of it, the pike line's holding lovely. Let's have a look at Rohan's finest. The pikes look fantastic. The actual pike itself, again, is very high quality. Oh, we got our first routing units. They can't be relied upon to do anything. Pathetic. Slingers throwing stones into the spearmen, and giving them a damn good hiding. What? What? Only half the enemy force what? remains. Oh, for goodness sake. You just got charged by 17 peasant scouts and you died. Are you for real? Oh, goodness sake. How did you just die to that? That is not my fault. Before you all start saying, Galu, there he goes, getting his generals killed. We're on the second episode and he's got another general killed. That one is not my fault. They just got charged by peasant scouts. Peasant scouts are the second worst cavalry unit in the entire game. Beaten only at that rather awful accolade by the Marauders of Canned. And they've just charged into a unit that has 19 defense. 19 defense. And they have died. Where are the peasant scouts? Where are you? Come back here. Let me see your stats. Oh, they've buggered off because they've died. They are dead. They are so poor. They're so weak and pathetic that they've died. And he's been killed by them. I am incensed. I am incensed. <laughs> What is actually still fighting? Helminga's there. Peasant militia, they're off. The arrival of new troops has caused them great dis great the concern. The enemy general lies dead. I mean, it's over, isn't it? But something's still fighting. Is it just you over there? Oh, yeah, they're massacring our... Behold oh, how are. Be awed by 531. The here today. And Taragline. Oh, well, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Episode bloody two and Taragline is dead. Here I am trying to govern a realm effectively using all my skill and um, everything that I have to my disposal to fight and kill these bastards. And I send in my most elite unit, armoured head to toe in Isengard. Isengard bloody armour for crying out loud. Jaraman himself gave me that armor. And he can't even survive a charge from peasant bloody scouts. I've had to have a bite of some flapjack. I'm so incensed. I'm not naming anywhere after you, Taragran. You will die, as you have done, and you will not be remembered. And damn bloody right. Right, well... All we can do is move out, I suppose. Oh, piss. <laughs> right, I'm going to end the episode there. Um, Old Wolf is coming. <laughs> He's bringing an army with him. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you come and kill me immediately? Your will, my lord. We definitely did not need my Enid Wythe involved as well. I think command, if we hadn't have allied Enid Wythe, we would now be dying. We would be being killed by our enemies. But as it stands, we're not doing too badly. Will, and we do lord. counter Rohan quite yes, nicely. my lord. So we just have to uh, keep doing that, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. Right, let's get rid of those. Let's try and just retrain some of the nicer ones first. Right. That is going to be the end of episode Arch numero 2. Stay like tuned that. tomorrow, aujourd'hui, pour... I don't know what French for episode is. Yes, my lord. Toi. Yes. As you wish. The third episode... With we'll come out tomorrow. To oh, we're at war with Bree? Time. What? Why are we at war with Bree? Seems like a most.
another proposition. I don't I care for your say, people. I don't want not to convinced. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Why aren't we doing the classic? The old, the age-old classic. How to extort money from the AI. A lesson. Sell them your map information. Oh, come on, bro. Pleasure was all ours. Sod off. Farewell. You're not playing by the rules. <laughs> the rules dictate that you buy my map information. Anyway, that's going to be the end of it. I hope you've enjoyed episode numbers one and two because I've recorded them back to back. There will now be a break. I will now see all of your comments from episode number one and hopefully I can talk about a few of them maybe in episode number three as we attack Old Wolf, take Eisen Run, and what is this town called? Bregnas. It is Bregnas. Once we've taken both of those, we'll hit our eight, F our eight regions and we'll get our other free general who we can then kill off quite nicely as we have done with Tara Klein. But for now, and until we speak again, dear friends, have a wonderful couple of days. And I shall see you all again soon. But until then, Navair Naden Perimad Melodin. And farewell. Oh, and do remember to mention about the camera. If you prefer it or you dislike it, whatever. Whatever's your poison. Let me know. Farewell. I'm going to eat my flapjack. <laughs>